Hello everyone, welcome to Internally Screening. Today, we're gonna to be reacting to The Man with the Golden Gun, or James Bond 9. We are joined today, once again, by our good friend Jacob, who has been with us on a couple of reactions so far. How are you doing, Jacob? I'm very excited to be back. I don't know how you keep letting me in. I know, I feel like the antagonistic element between us as uh, sort of rival partners keeps the fire fueled. So, uh, you know, I think it makes things a bit spicy. You just know your spot on Internally Screening is up, mate. Gonna oh get, what I'm gonna get you're gonna get the sack I'm gonna bring Jacob in oh like soon you're gonna he's gonna show up and we're gonna be watching Riddick 4 doing a how reaction. fucking dare <laughs> Adam you're gonna get you're gonna get traded to Splash Zone gamers oh, God. <laughs> you're gonna go on loan to Splash Zone <laughs> it's like Try a championship up. loan at like QPR or some <laughs> shit <laughs> should we kick on let's get with into the man it. with the golden gun alright the ultimate Chad it's, he literally looks like the Chad. Look like at the it. feathering. Oh, why is it zooming in on his? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh. Third the third nipple. nipple is like a big plot point in this film. That's kind of gross. I don't need. To... Oh, hello. That's, That's me when I saw that third lip nipple. Whoa! Whoa. Look at the fit. Shit. He changed into swag. that real quick. I would have been like still kicking my legs around, like rolling around on the floor. Oh, oh is he getting ready for a horse routine? <laughs> Oh god, you weren't supposed to see me in this. What on earth is going on here? Wait, it's turned into like one of those spooky horror houses. What the fuck? This is the latest uh, Doctor Strange, isn't it? Have we got the wrong <laughs> film? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is going on? Why would the guy, knowing that he's trying to kill Scaramanga, go into the haunted house of mirrors? I mean, I just feel like, you know... I'm here. May as well see the attractions. Oh, I get it. The bird's got the golden gun. That's the twist. The man is a is a bird. The man is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> is this the pinnacle of a cold open? Yeah. This is a crack open. <laughs> it's where you open and you think you're on crack. <laughs> right, well, I really don't know what to make of all that. <laughs> it's like a training thing. Yeah, it was just bizarre. Yeah, training for what? For when James Bond comes. He has a powerful weapon. <laughs> 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 he oh, has a gun. <laughs> it's made of gold. <laughs> Didn't know they got a pub band to do the song for this. <laughs> He's got a golden <laughs> weapon. <laughs> the man is secretly a bird. It's a bird with a golden gun. Why do British people all look like they're from Madame Tussauds? <laughs> Why are we made out of wax? The man with a golden gun. He said the thing. Ah! Right, film over. God, Judy Dench already looks well old in this film. <laughs> How does she I'm do it? I'm trying to analyse this form of dance. <laughs> I don't know if I have a belly button fetish. I didn't before this show, but now <laughs> I might. <laughs> I don't like belly buttons. It's double O me too over there in the corner. <laughs> oh, is he gonna like, oh, he's gonna suck it off of it. Oh, oh, oh this is a bit much. This is very risque. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go! Why is everyone doing like double-handed punching? It's the seventies, Jacob. It's you all... can't say that is the seventies for everything. Judo chop. <laughs> That's every move. It's been a fairly decent fight. Here. <laughs> he had so long to not hit him. Oh no, Old Spice! <laughs> ah, the minty scent it burns. <laughs> it's Lynx Africa. Get it off of me! <laughs> Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair. That's good. Oh, I thought he was going to no, make a joke quite... about ma make a joke about having to shit it out in a few days. Yeah, like, is that what he's going to do? Like, is he going to have it like in the next scene? I went through a lot of trouble to find this. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't I... touch it if I were you. <laughs> no, don't put it there. Get I it out your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll sit on a pillow here. <laughs> Do you have an ice pack, Q? <laughs> this is a very sharp bullet. I know! There appear to be shit molecules on this point. <laughs> <laughs> I can see bits of corn. We've done all we can to clean it, but the smell, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have, Q? Well, I mean. <laughs> the laxatives. <laughs> and, you know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do with that wall in the background? Oh, there well, you go. That's a short question pretty rapidly. <laughs> they knew I would ask. I'm now aiming precisely at your groin to speak over of a hold your peace. 
Oi, oi. Ah, he'd miss me because it'd be an inch too low. <laughs> Very good at hitting small targets, Jacob. <laughs> Put the ricochets off of his Prince Albert. <laughs> Damn, look at this bingo hall ass casino. I'm loving the bucket system. I don't know if I am loving it. Nah, it's sick. Nah, no, it's Since sick. Since I constantly, I should be like, constantly being like, fucking old buckets. <laughs> what, smacking them out of you? Get out! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> They'd be like constant <laughs> jump scares. <laughs> be like constant jump scares. You're just trying to play some poker and a bucket just like slams. <laughs> like, fucking hell! So he's a lover too. Only before he kills. Bullfighters do the same thing. Claims it improves the eye. What, bullfighters have sex with their balls before they go and kill? <laughs> Tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> I shall karate chop you, wench. <laughs> this is very Craig kind of like era Bond. Yeah, I'm kind of liking how cutthroat he's been. I don't know yeah. if it suits Roger Moore to be so cold. He's oh, just such a naturally lovable guy. Yeah, I like the disconnect. Like, he looks so smart, but he's being really fucking... Whoa, what, what a <laughs> short transition. Sheesh. That would jump scared Rupert. Oh, <laughs> Nothing terrifies Rupert, Rupert more. <laughs> Absolutely mesmerised. But yeah, no, I do like how um, you know, the juxtaposition of Bond being like such like a sort of goofy, like fun character in this era, and then him also being like absolutely ruthless. So cold and calculated, like the villain might just shoot you. So give me what I want. Q, I'll uh, need this. Oven chips, Man. toilet roll, bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Bond, these are the ingredients to make a bomb. <laughs> Durex extra small condoms. Uh, <laughs> those are for you, Q. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, keep a few spare for me if you could. <laughs> nah, Roger Moore was packing heat. Roger Moore, maybe. James Bond. Yeah, James Bond, we've agreed, has a check. Yeah, that's why he's had to become so suave. You, if, you, if you were packing a, like a fucking 9, 10 inch whopper, you don't need to be suave. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna look at a Burger King advert the same. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Imagine having such broad shoulders and strong legs that you could just smoke a cigarette while someone was on top of you. <laughs> the way you just took him down was hilarious. He sort of like... There was a... Br like oh, a oh, whoa, that something. was a full... Um, he just face fucked shot. him by accident. <laughs> yeah. There was also, yeah, like a really flirty moment as he caught him as he came down. Yeah, yeah they like briefly locked eyes and it was like... It was quite sensual. Sh should we... It was like an anime moment. Oh my god, what is with this film? This might be like the horniest James Bond film since On a Magic Secret Service. Maybe, but what's horny about this is like the amount he nearly nuts and doesn't nut. <laughs> Normally he's just nutting across the, the whole globe. But it's here the James he's... Bond equivalent of edging. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. And in such becomes hornier because there's like so much pent up tension. Your pecs, Mr. Bond, they're glorious. Ah, clever, clever. But he doesn't know which nipple with the correct side. <gasps> oh, for God's what sake! What is with the like knickknack? Oh, are that's doing? a cool fucking mask, though. The mask is sick, but like, what's the theme of like everyone being frozen? They were shit. Oh them. my God! It's turned midnight. They've turned into real things. <laughs> <laughs> this is night at the museum. Yeah. I no can... way is Bond. Are you joking? Yeah, Bond would get flattened. My judo chop is not very effective. <laughs> oh no. He shits himself <laughs> All over his white toxic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? He's spreading his cheeks. <laughs> he hey, he's giving him a wedgie. So I love Bond's first thought was to just grab, grab some the ass. cheeks. <laughs> Oh no, he's been killed by Poseidon, god of the sea. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Imagine watching this on drugs, you'd be like... It probably Ooh. makes more sense. Take Mr. Bond to school. <laughs> oh! And now begins the spin-off show. Heaven. Definitely heaven. Ah, the men have arrived. Excellent. Definitely heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 Judo chop. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He just ate shit. Damn. That was like the Indiana Jones thing. Yeah, yeah, I was literally about to, That's incredible. <laughs> I love all the. Ooh, oh, oh. Thwack. Kapow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Oh, you should have landed in a, like a convertible that's just driving. Oh, by. lovely. Oh, they're gonna be like like they're super like well trained, aren't they? Yes. Oh fuck! <laughs> this yeah. is heat. Bond, this is probably your time to be leaving. He's not even helping out. Uh -huh. yeah, he just got his fucking ass handed to him. And the, why would Bond help out? The choreography is actually not that bad. Yeah, no, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> you just got meloned. Bond just lost his job to foreign outsourcing. They're so much <laughs> better than him. It's like, why the fuck would you ever need James Bond yeah. if like, two young girls can do that? True. Why wouldn't they let... What? I guess I'll just have to do it again. It was like Rupert was saying, they were sick of being outsourced like that, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, we get the super James Bond guy in and we have to do all the work. You know what? We're going to let James do some work for once. Whoa! Oh, fuck that. 60 baht. Mr. Yes, sir. Did that kid just try and show off his cool wooden elephant? That was interesting, so he threw himself in the river. I'll tell you what, Sonny, I'll give you 20,000 baht if you can make this heat go any faster. <laughs> <laughs> Push him in the water. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that was very dishonorable. And as he drives away, he puts the stick oh. directly oh. on the floor, <laughs> Turns him into soup. Oh, good lord, Rupert. Fuck you <laughs> for helping me. I haven't got that much money, kid. It's him again. Yeah, I knew he was going. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta have me one of those cute little elephants. Elephant? Democrats, Maybell. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Did she fall asleep in there? She's like a bat. No. <laughs> she opens the door, she's upside down. Forgive me, darling. Your turn will come, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mr. Bond, I always thought I liked animals. And I discovered that I liked killing people even more. Then I discovered I was a furry, Mr. Bond. There's a picture of my fursona. Um, it's based on Shadow the Hedgehog Bond. He's my favourite character for his edgy witticism. What is she doing? Is it like a tracking device? That is the yeah. least subtle thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, thank God there's an American Motors here. Yay! How about demonstration, boy? Certainly, sir. Oh, he's not going to take him along for the whole fucking yeah. car chase. Oh, for God's sake. I remember sake. this bit. This bit's heat. He looks like a David Cronenberg prop. <laughs> but yeah, well, he looks like his face yeah. is about to melt off any second. Yeah. Oh, what a downgrade. I mean, look, it's not a nasty looking car or anything, but like, think about what James Bond was whipping back in the 60s. Yeah, he's got to drive one shit car, though, every now and again. I can't focus without... I would need him to get rid of that man. Please push him out at high speed. That would be really funny. <laughs> And just confirm that he is dead, and we all watch him like turn into red mist. Hey, okay, there we sick. go. J turns are always sick. What? <laughs> <laughs> this ramp that's just there. No. Shut oh, is this up. is this the the double corkscrew? Uh, no. No, it is. It is. You're not thinking that. Oh hell oh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's a 10. Shoot! It was until they had the swoop whistle. No, that is what makes it a 10. What is it transforming into? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a transformer. I am Optimus Prime. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, boy. How? Yes. Plane attachment equipped. Oh my god. That's so oh, that's sick. He's gonna be like writing a really angry fax to Q right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, why the fuck have you never made me anything? You gave me a fucking cool. laser pen. <laughs> I want the flying car, Q. Oh no. Don't get out of how, the car. How would you not realize you're in the fucking sky? How would you not notice? Just jump, jump and. Don't forget, for she's also fields. fucking useless. So she might not have noticed because she's an idiot. His face! As <laughs> a matter of fact, we're working on one now. Oh, you're too fucking late, Q. <laughs> How come it never comes out, Q? 
<laughs> he's got just some hastily drawn, like really childish sketches of like. A <laughs> he's doing one right now. Yeah. Oh, it's got like dragon wings. <laughs> yeah. No, look, we, we've also been working on it for days. Actually, we have an ample supply of electricity here. <laughs> what a weird fucking half lags. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. My pad's got electricity, bitch. Yeah. We no also have off. flushing toilets. Running water here, Bond. Never heard of it. Such a thing. <laughs> water. You simply turn this device. <laughs> How did it come? Uh, it's a cue <laughs> listing out really ordinary <laughs> objects. And now this Bond, I've made you a device. I call it a faucet Bond. <laughs> Allows you to have water at your fingertips in seconds. Cute. How do you do it? I call this one Bond an oven. <laughs> it allows you to heat up food at a remarkable rate. What is it you're sitting on, Q? Ah, my new invention. The chair. <laughs> ah, the falling. I love that the bad guy in this film is like solar power Bond. <laughs> Could you ever imagine such a thing, Bond? I'm going to put a solar panel on every roof <laughs> in England. Renewable energy bond. It's even going to be tax benefits for those who opt in early to the scheme. It's me, James Bond, working for British Petroleum. <laughs> Die. I like that he just said no concealed weapons, but you know, that's only if you lack imagination. I call this the clip ray. Where did you get that samurai sword? <laughs> the clip ray, Jake. <laughs> You are yeah, fucking drunk. <laughs> also, Rupert. <laughs> Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Use your imagination. I have unsheathed it. I hope you kept the sheath in there. <laughs> I haven't got long no, before it's, it's all of right. my innards come out it's my right. arm. Just gonna take it out very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I've got it caught on something. <laughs> you take out your kidneys on it. Oh, God! <laughs> it's like, you take it out. It's like a kebab before you're Oh, it's just got everything. It's good for one swing. She collapses. <laughs> I'm cool. I call this the sampler platter. <laughs> Put it back in. <laughs> I don't know where all the bits go. Roger Moore looks like so nervous here. Yeah, I kind of like it. He's kind of been cornered. No, I, d I don't actually. At this point, it feels like it should be like too his cool and collected and his like evil sinisterness. But all I'm getting is Bong being like, ah, fuck, I'm not, nah, you, you win. Nah, nah, but I like that there's like a kind of cracks in the armor. No, I, I, I rate that. It's not an infallible cat. Damn, he's swagging. Who's that guy? <laughs> Look at that extra just staring at If you kill him, all this be mine. I love the dynamic he kind of brings to this. He's just super unhinged. Oh, Bond's gonna pretend to be his own mannequin. This is genius. I'm calling it early, lads. I've never killed a midget before. <laughs> oh, but oh. it can always be a first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's something so dark about James Bond about to execute. <laughs> never killed a midget before. Oh my God, that's so weird. I like this. I like returning to this. This is cool. Bragged <laughs> <laughs> ya! Hmm, some sort of see-through material. I think Q <laughs> was working on this. <laughs> yes, yeah. I called this shit. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yes! Ooh, he died. He's getting frozen, boy. Ooh. That was she back. How on did she not a... notice? It was almost like it went inside her like by two inches <sighs> before. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Jacob. <laughs> it's stuck in my asshole, I can't! <laughs> 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 Get it out! <laughs> I'm gonna need a doctor, James! Good girl, good night! You've done it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's still quite a lot of sun no, I know. through that cloud. No, James! I love this because the tension is that he doesn't realise how incompetent yes. the woman is. And all the tension is being created by the movement of a cloud in the sky. If it works, it works, Jacob. This is strange. Of all like the the female characters in this that have gotten the most attention, I would not have picked her. Like, imagined her to be the one that sort of survives it all. 
Yeah, there's there's a rule of two, isn't there? You have yeah. two, one of them dies or betrays you and yeah. dies. But I, I, I don't know, there was just so much more characterization in the woman yeah, Scaramanga was yeah. with. <laughs> Quick, we must sail away! Hoist James the sails! Bond's greatest vehicle. I like the idea that they got in the boat, but in reality it didn't move because the wind wasn't there, so they were yeah, just killed. Like, <laughs> this is the weirdest menage a trois of all time. Oh, I thought he was going to throw her in the way oh. of the knife. But she oh, just landed goodness. on his head, broke his neck. And recorded <laughs> he looked, the way he dropped the knife looked like he'd stabbed himself in the face a bit. Oh, absolutely wrecked. This guy's a top-tier fighter. He's making Wait, Bond look like an gin. absolute prick right now. Thank God I did cricket in private school. <laughs> this is bizarre. No, yeah. no, shut up. <laughs> no, don't throw him in the sea. Do it. Oh my god. Let me out, you big bully. Let me out, <laughs> you big bully. What did you do with him? What do you think? I threw oh, him in the yes, sea. You didn't. Yes, I damn well did. But she didn't get to see him throw him in the sea. But also, like, she's like, oh, you didn't kill the man, did you? And he's like, I fucking did. <laughs> and I'll so do it much. again. Yeah. Right, now you I'm really how much alcohol boy. he's just denied us. Is Miss Goodnight with you? I'd like a word with her. How many times has M had to listen to Bond fuck in these films? At this point, he's like got PTSD from That's <laughs> why he's so sweaty from the, at the beginning of the film. He's like, Bond, you better bloody not do it again. again. She's just coming. So. Stop making it. Oh, oh, just oh. coming. Oh. And it's funny because she probably wouldn't. Good night. Good night, sir. No, really? That is not that. That's the whole joke. That's the whole yes. joke. He's been building up the whole film. He weaved a basket. Oh, well, wow. That, okay, that's like that's a it. lobster cage. But also, so Bond got spent to the effort of transferring him into one of those and then putting it all the way up there. No, I don't think there was that basket on the boat to begin with. I think he literally weaved it. Great. He's just gonna die of exposure now. Come back and he's like sunburnt to a crisp. Yeah, he's just gonna be like fucking cooked. Well, there you have it, lads. Yeah, as, as our guest, Jacob, how do you feel about your first Roger Moore film, Man with the Golden Gun? That was weird. It there was. were good elements, but there were so many annoying ones in this one. Yeah, and what annoyed you? Well, the song was pretty annoying. The song was pretty bad, yeah. Terrible song, yeah. Genuinely, the American guy was infuriating. Oh, yeah. He was funny in the previous film, but they overdid it a bit in this one. How they got from set piece to set piece was really tenuous. Like, you know, the fact that he they went to the effort of saving him from the dojo and then left him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a really valid point. Yeah, why did they just leave him after that bit? I mean, from what I read, it seems like this was definitely a film that was chasing trends at the time. I was, I was literally, I was, I was once to say, yeah, that this, when you brought up the obsession with like martial arts and things, I was like, yeah, this feels hmm. like it was chasing trends. But it, it seems interesting to me because maybe at that point they were like, right, James Bond is seen as this sort of big... 60s franchise mm. we're now in the 70s we need to make it hip and fresh. fresh hip and fresh exactly we need to reinvent bond obviously with the recasting but yeah it makes sense that they would go oh yeah let's do martial arts let's do a space film i mean not that bond hasn't already done martial arts stuff but in this it felt much more superficial i mean basically my opinion on this film is like it's like fun but very disposable uh, yeah, yeah. I think what I I massively, massively prefer this to the previous two Bond films. I would say it's much less um, boring than it's, uh, the previous one. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more intrigue going on, even though you know some of the sort of getting to and from, like, oh, we've gone to this location, basically found out nothing. James Bond comes up with a clever idea. We go mm. to this location. We go to this location. But it still has a lot more of like um, agency and purposefulness than the kind of meaningless meandering that seems to happen in Diamonds mm. of Forever and to a lesser extent Live and Let Die but those films just felt like they had so little plot going on this film felt like there was still like a there was like a very solid skeleton and like a kind of interesting rivalry between mm. like two men on the opposite side of the spectrum I mean so Scaramanga is again not a deep character but I feel like Christopher Lee is a good enough presence that yeah. it doesn't really matter. He doesn't really get much in the way of like dialogue or, or screen Motivation. time. But he is just kind of the characterization of him as essentially the antithesis of Bond is quite unique and like mm. we've not really had that before. Uh, you know, Bond's nemesis 
the most famous nemesis up until this point is Blofeld, who is more just the ultimate evil behind the scenes, behind guy. The scenes like businessman yeah. type guy. Mm. So I mean, like, what would you guys rate this film? For me, it's probably like a five because it's quite long. If this film was shorter, it could be yeah, like a, a bit more solid streamlined. six or seven. <laughs> like if it was shorter. Didn't fuck around, like much better pace, just like here's set piece, set piece, set piece. Yeah. Fuck because I think the thing that sets this apart from the previous film is the you know, the action in that film's not even that good. No. And no, it's he also only has the boat chase. Yeah, and, and it's not as funny bit. and it's just like really boring. Mm. Whereas both of them are too long, but I feel like the man with the golden gun is like generally offers more entertainment. Oh, hundred percent. It's still just like a five for me. It's not like anything more than average in terms of Bond. I don't think. I mean, I personally would actually say it's a six. I get a similar level of enjoyment to this as I do from the likes of something like You Only Live Twice, mm. where a lot of the quality of that more comes from just raw entertainment. Mm. Um, it's not quite as good as that film, but I think it certainly has a lot going for it in terms of a bit more of a, a, a deeper characterization of uh, Bond than Moore did in Live and Let Die, where mm. Moore was almost just kind of breezing through that. This mm. has a little bit more grit to it. He's a bit darker at points, the slight challenge of his own morals mm. by being presented with a inverse of himself. So yeah, I think six, I think is a good wholesome, good hearty fun. Mm. Um, Jacob, what do you reckon? I was a five until that description. And I agreed with all of it. You know, the villain is a presence hanging over the whole film, which is a really interesting way of doing it, where you do feel like the whole time Bond doesn't seem to really fully realise just how fucked he could be. Honestly, I get Strahd vibes from... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just I wish he was more menacing, because the film just is going on so many random tangents, I didn't really feel it enough. I, yeah. And it's just too long. I, yeah, that's oh yeah, it's, it's too long. It feels like a demo reel of lots of good scenes. Mm. Yeah, with... Uh, too little to unify it, yeah. Yeah, but I think there are so like some really cool elements that Bond has zeroed in on in the future more heavily. Mm. That kind of you see signs of here, which I thought were really cool. So that, yeah, what? I'd say a six. I'd say a six based on the kind of you can see how this was more than just a bunch of cool scenes. There is a bit more to it, a bit more three D three D depth. Definitely an, imp an improvement on Live and Let Die. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm glad that, Jacob, that uh, unwittingly I was persuading you with my uh, description. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we align on this and that, once again, we're team fuck Rupert. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, it's a shame that Rupert leaves the channel here today. You know, I'm very excited to be starting my role <laughs> as Jacob, film resident. This is like the, this is as like the fifth resident film, film you've expert. ever watched. <laughs> As resident film expert on internally screening, I'm just glad to be joining you. And, Great, uh, so now you're going to make internally screening about fucking like detective guys. games and Family Guy quotes. <laughs> and I look forward to, um, look, stay tuned for our Family Guy cutaway uh, tier list. <laughs> oh, God. And look forward to Rupert's uh, notes apology for uh, his time on the channel. You'll never get a notes apology from me, even if I do something wrong. It's never going to happen. <laughs> right, well... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're still uh, if you're still somehow watching at this point, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. Actually, don't consider it. Do it. If you hate this video, give it a dislike. And yeah, we'll see you again in the next one, which will be the spy who loved me. Uh, getting no, one she step loved closer. me. Getting one step closer. Nobody loves you, Jake. To Moonraker. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to do an outro. Uh, peace.